Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53, quarterfinal number 3. We've got Mr. Page with his horrendous chaos team <laughs> full of Claw Mighty versus a team that's very slow that is now Armor 7, uh, Engelbert Hex's Dwarves. He's got a wizard and uh, maybe something else. An extra apple and he gets the guy cast instantly. <laughs> <laughs> so instant value from the apothecary, which is good, I guess. Uh, this is just a visual bug. It is. It is back. There you go. This can be a lot of fun for the dwarf coach. I mean, it's very unlikely. Dio maximum Derek for those who don't know is Dio, and some people say some of his views on Blood Bowl are extreme. To say the least. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you can see how brutal this team is. Like, millions and millions of claw mighty. Three claw palm. Too much claw mighty to count. Uh, like, to be fair, dwarves, dwarves can win this game, obviously, right? It's not like a 100% matchup or anything, but it is pretty one sided, right? Like, and, you know, if they've got mass guard, mass mighty blow, a bit of piling on. Piling on armor 8 isn't that much worse than piling on armor 7. So, you know, they can try and high roll and stuff. He's got a wizard, so he could just use that to try and win the scrum, you know, like could fireball these four and stuff and get loads of hits in. So, there's, you know, there is some there is some play involved. But, um, I mean, it's horrific. Horrific for the dwarves. <laughs> It's horrific for the dwarves. They, you know, like, it cannot be overstated how absolutely terrible this is. But having said that, they're still probably like 30% to win or something, right? That's just the way Blood Bowl is. It's always pretty high variance. And there we go, the, uh, the counter foul. KOs him, because he was completely exposed which is kind of fair enough isn't it only a two assist foul you've got more plenty more claw bombers where that came from <laughs> not going in with the warriors <laughs> a team with four claw pommers <laughs> bases a skillless beast man <laughs> who killed someone. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> but that's why you don't give up hits for no reason, right? Even as bash teams, even as armor nine bash teams, that's why you, you know every team should be maximizing hits they take and minimizing hits they you know maximizing hits they make and minimizing hits they take. Oh, so here we go, we go for the aggro wizard. I thought this might have happened right an early an early defensive wizard like this, like a, a fireball, try and uh, win the scrum. But the problem is he's so far behind already, like losing two of his best dwarves, pretty out of position. Kind of layered cage. This was a pretty bad wizard, I think. I can understand, like feeling it right. He's he's had, he's had a rock go. These two cards have been from a skillless goat and a rock, <laughs> and he obviously feels like he's on a big clock, and uh, you know, fireball in, try and get advantage in the fight. But Make the fight about the ball as well, right? Stops uh, stops Mr. Page teeing off with the uh, claw palm every turn, potentially. So I can kind of understand going for it. I don't think it was a great wizard. And that was just really unlucky. Now. No, he's not had the best dice at all, has he? And this is even without the like claw palm doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Juggernaut. It was the Juggernaut one that was fouled out, wasn't it? The Juggernaut is only moving five. Uh, 
I mean, it would have looked less bad if he'd, if he'd got to move, you know, a couple more players in. But yeah, I, I didn't like that. Was it? I thought the ball was, like, too protected. Uh, anyway, so Engelbert actually did use his app on this guy. Um, obviously the second one as well. But this one has finally stuck. The guard mighty long beard. And now it's almost lie down as the dwarves, right? They've, they've used their wizard. They've been banged out. It's almost just lie down and abandon the drive. But because they've used the wizard, they're probably thinking, well, I've got to try and stop the drive. But... It's pretty old. I, th I did think he had to hang on to his wizard, honestly. Because he might just need it on his own drive to, uh, to score as well. I think there was a strong argument for lying down. That was just what a no assist foul. Oof. I think that was a bit. It's funny, right? After saying the dwarves have got no chance, and then saying these two last two moves were a bit too desperate. But now that's the thing, right? Even if you are a massive, massive underdog, if you have roughly equal skill, then. Um... You're never much worse than 30%, I don't think. So... I think it's rare that you have to go as crazy. But you know, sometimes you do, like, situationally you do. But in terms of the matchup... So, like, you know, if, if it's turn... There's a difference between, like, you know, doing rolling some crazy dice on turn 6, because if you don't, they're going to score, than just, like, taking, like, a... a kind of really aggro play style for the whole match, right? So that foul was like kind of just really, really, really crazy. <laughs> really crazy. Um, and that just seemed way too way too kind of risky for not not really a payoff in a way. Yeah, Panic Wizard, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, like... It's all situation, isn't it, basically? It's all about situations, and... I think you just stay in the middle and try and minimise the hits you take. And that drive, and then... You know, maybe you get an opportunity for, like, a slightly better wizard. But if you don't, that's okay, too, right? You can just use the wizard to score on your drive and get to overtime. And you might get to overtime with a team, you never know. Depending on what happens, but I mean it's hard. Like it's hard. You can you can understand the panic wizard absolutely because like you know things have gone wrong, but they haven't gone. Although they've gone wrong in terms of like a rock and an unskilled cars, it's not like you weren't expecting to take cars versus a cold pump team. So I think you probably should have like kept a cooler head. And not gone so risky, but totally understandable. You know, starting with one D blitz. To get the two D on here. Gets clawed, mate. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure about that. Because this guy could have blitzed, couldn't he? I guess this is a call from hit, though. Yeah, exactly, Dodge the Tog. Like, it's totally understandable, right? Like, you have, you have, like, in the Premier League, right, you have people who are getting paid 300 grand a week. And they don't stay <laughs> mentally tough in difficult situations. <laughs> so... 
You can't expect people playing a little kids game for fun to, can you? Well, yeah, this is, uh, this is fucked. <laughs> this is completely fucked! This, this guy. Okay, and this guy needs to cover for this this guy, right? You can just he can go put some well this is bad. This is a bit bad here from uh this is a bit bad from Mr. Page. And you know, this guy just isn't adding anything here. This is the only see the only responsive player and he's getting to go on the ball, right? This guy just needs to stay near the ball. It's like the only thing you have to do for that player. You've got, you know, you've got a tackle of three. He's got one player, and it's got dodge and uh, one standing player, <laughs> and it's got dodge. So you just keep your uh, tackle near the ball. Another regular blow here. Yeah. It gets to three D, but. Oh, off, on a GFR, yeah. So I mean, this was this was this was a bad mistake, for Mr. Page. Like this guy is not, this guy is not adding anything here. Ends up going in early, unbelievable, Jim. Good KO rolls for the dwarves, but does it matter? <laughs> We've got eight players left. <laughs> They're maxed out at eight players. And the chaos have got ten, even with two KOs. So yeah, this is uh, looking really bad for Engelbert Hex. Imagine if he kept his wizard. He could have uh, he could have maybe used the wizard to score in two. Maybe somehow. Yeah. And like he's got a he's got a pommer, hasn't he? No, that's been cast. <laughs> he's got some mighty blow. Could could just uh yeah, could just make three cars here. There's always a chance, but now it's looking real grim for the dwarves, right? Like now it's pre game. I'd struggle to see anyone much worse than thirty percent. Unless there's like a gulf in, in in class, so he probably was about thirty percent before the before the match, but uh, the way it's gone, <laughs> he is no longer thirty percent. Touch back there, didn't give it to his runner, and then hands it off to his runner. Okay. Oh man, this is pretty good though. This is pretty flipping good from Engelbert Hex. Really good. What a wonder turn. Probably didn't need a GFI there, so that's a mistake. I can just stay here. I guess it's okay. That does it is stronger if he GFIs, isn't it? He's got stamp for so and it's I guess he's not adding anything here because he's not coming out of the back, so it probably was correct to just double GFI just to get more forward. It's amazing though to take that to take that LOS, four guys stun, and he's still got a decent He's got a decent thing, it's not the best, but... You're telling me there's a chance. There isn't really a chance. <laughs> Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is an outrageous defense. <laughs> I mean, at least you get to hit the claw pommer, but uh, uh, probably not going to score. <laughs> so is it five, six, five, four, three? Ooh. Yeah, five, six, five, four, three. But it probably wasn't that low odds, right? Pretty long. <laughs> it was pretty low, but not as low as you'd think. Probably, probably not as low as you'd think. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, there's like you know that it's five, six, five, four, three, right? Like, if you've got a brain, if you've got a brain, you can tell that the, the six plus, you know, is like that's the like critical point isn't it so you know having to put the six in there already like tops out your chances are pretty low so from having to roll a six it's not that much worse if you see what I mean <laughs> but yeah there is the 2-2 two -two at the end yeah Mr. Six Scheisserick. <laughs> Just the casual six that was involved in that. I mean, obviously, Mr. Page had all the players back to the to Make it basically impossible. Unintentional, fair enough. But yeah, without the six with two GFIs, that looks fine, right? 10%. Yeah, it's true, and it's true, isn't it? And that's with the extra twos, which the other one didn't have. Yeah, there you go. I mean, better to keep everything else the same, then, right? It's so like five, five, four, three. It's twelve percent nearly. Like it's actually totally reasonable, right? Five five four three is actually like really like you know you'd think five five four three is almost impossible. It's actually not even bad at all. And obviously the six makes that a lot worse, but it's still even not that bad. Even even putting a six in there, it's not. <laughs> it's still not that bad. It's pretty low. <laughs> But like you would, it would be amongst the craziest things you would have ever seen, right? But it's just because, and you see, like you know, you see one in thirty-six on blocks. That's about three percent, isn't it? You see a one in thirty-six on blocks, like every game, right? But you're seeing loads of two dice blocks every game, and you're not seeing people being that advantage to be able to set up such a strong two-turn defense. So um, it's interesting. It's actually harder missing a ninety-five percent shot next time, isn't it? Because. Uh, because they they cheat to give people better dice <laughs> in XCOM. Warping people's perception of uh, probability one shot at a time in XCOM. <laughs> Literally making the gambler's fallacy true, that don't they, in XCOM, so that people don't feel as bad. Well, he's got a screen, he's in range. No, he's not. He's one short. He's only four in. For some reason, I just thought that was five in. Now I can see it's four in, but yeah. Still got to hit him, I think. Like, you could just go back. But you could, yeah, you better. And then, like, try and hit him with somebody else, right? That's, that's the argument. You could go back with this guy, so you've got a second chance. And this guy could go one, two, three, four, five, double GFI and hit him. Or the wrestler could. No, the wrestler can't. So that there would have been an there would have been an argument for um, for that, but I think this is pretty obvious. Get 
That's the pal. Maybe could have pushed him into there. He's, he's got strength and guard advantage. But I mean, it doesn't really matter what Mr. Page does at this point, does it? <laughs> Almost doesn't matter. I mean, don't say it's over. Oh, what? Uh, big cars? This is a big one? No, it's just a badly hurt. Wow, apples. I would not have appled that. I think that is a poor decision. Like, I know it's in the rain, but you 1 0 up. He's completely screwed. <laughs> okay, now it looks a lot worse now that the ball's just gone here. <laughs> but even with, <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. But yeah, I don't apple that at all, right? It's it's only it's only coming into play if it somehow gets to overtime. And that is, this game is not getting to overtime. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> so save that apple and be greedy with it for sure. Oh wow, my strength one weird. Get this guy down. Ooh. Whoa. I don't like this. My play would have been to blitz with the claw upon there and then run back to just try and get him not hit right. At this point, I'm just trying to save my team getting punched at all. <laughs> you don't have to get the ball this turn. There's absolutely no rush to get the ball. You want the little game's over. Just protect your best players. And similarly, the only thing Engelbert X is going to do is blitz his best player. So there you go, you know, what can I say? Feels good to be right. <laughs> this guy should 100% just blitz and run away to try and protect himself. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant play by Jim. Oh, I hadn't seen this game, by the way. That's just uh, just fantastic analysis. Oh, he didn't die. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just over now. <laughs> even Elliot, even Elliot would say it was over. I mean, Engelbert Hex did lie down a bit. He could have stood everyone up and moved people around, but not a lot of point, I guess. I need to unmute Art's Discord because he adds people sometimes. <laughs> Nah, Mordred, I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't play it. The problem with playing, like, I love talking about it, watching it, thinking about it. But unfortunately, playing it is... It's just frustrating a lot of the time, isn't it? To which people say you should play chess. <laughs> but the thing is... Luck isn't... You know, on or off is it? You know, it doesn't have to be. You don't have to completely remove luck if you're unhappy with the amount of luck involved in the game. It's a, it's a, it's a sliding scale. It goes from zero to a hundred, right? 
chess, you've got a bit of luck on who who gets to be white, don't you? But um, generally, there's zero luck in chess, and like something like tossing a coin is a hundred percent luck, isn't it? And maybe his blood ball is, you know, thirty percent luck, and maybe it'd be better if it was twenty percent luck, forty percent luck, maybe even blood ball. Blood Bowl could be 40% luck. That's my, uh, that's my notion. Based on the fact that the best players have an 80% win rate. It's not really true, right? It's not, it's not really a sound mathematical argument. But the idea is but it's because it's not true, right? Because the an 80% player will beat bad players like 90% of the time. And then not so bad players 70% of the time. And stuff like that. Yeah, this is over now. It's really off. <laughs> Just slaughtering this team now. <laughs> so, you know, who knows how much, what percentage of luck is in a Blood Bowl game. But, and there's literally no need to stall here, by the way. You could just go and go 2 0 up. But I guess there's also no need to score because even if he loses the ball, what's he gonna do? <laughs> what's he gonna do even if even if Engelbert X get you know gets the ball carrier down, powers him somehow, what's he even gonna do about it? Nothing, so I guess this way you give up less hits. Oh, you do get foul, which isn't right. Getting a claw from a foul wasn't great. So that might have been worth scoring to not get the claw from a foul. And uh, yeah, honestly, Enzo, I'm so sad that Blue Ball Three is so terrible, right? Because that just it being so terrible is why I haven't made any videos. Because it it feels like morally wrong to make guides for it. <laughs> And now it's too late anyway, right? Like, if I was gonna make them, make them for release for the spike in views and stuff, now it's a dead game. That's what it is. And I guess they're applicable at tabletop somewhat, so could make. Ah, it's not laziness. I mean, I am a man of laziness, but I also do have stupid principles. Which I, uh, I acknowledge as stupid. No, I mean, I am definitely a man of laziness. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's not laziness as well. I haven't made it before for years. It's just the fact that Blue Ball 3 is so fucking horrible. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> if Blood Bowl three, if I thought Blood Bowl three was going to be any good, then I would have, uh, I would have messaged the one giving the keys out and like you know asked for an early key and made them all the videos before it came out. But or you know just ask, ask somebody who got the keys to let me make the videos. You know, let me sign in on their account and make videos and stuff. If I was really desperate, you know, like I could have done that, right? And I could have had all the videos ready to go before it was released if I really wanted. But the thing is, it was uh, it was terrible. I knew it was going to be terrible, so I just didn't want it. Right, there you go. Commiserations, Engelbert Hex. Congratulations, Mr. Page. Not actually 20 AV breaks to, to, to two, but of the 17 AV breaks that were made, it resulted in nine casts <laughs> and three kills, so... <laughs> Fantastic efficiency from Mr. Page in his dice rolling. Um, wonderful to see. Congrats to him. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.